International Christian Embassy es la organización que le da cobijo a más de 100.000 cristianos que aman al Estado de Israel. Hoy, en entrevista para Enlace Judío, el doctor Mohmir Kalus, vicepresidente de Asuntos Internacionales de la Embajada Cristiana, nos habla sobre todas las admirables labores que realiza su organización a favor del Estado de Israel. Mohmir, hi, nice to meet you. Thank you for this interview. Thank you for the invitation. Nice to meet you. Well, uh, the first question is very simple, but deep at the same time. Um, why do Christians from your organization love Israel? Well, thank you for this question. This is indeed uh, fundamental. I would just start by saying that uh, our organization is not the only one. We are, in fact, part of a large movement of many millions of Christians from many different countries. And uh, uh, it may come uh, as a surprise to the Jewish people. I quite understand because we are aware of the history of Christian-Jewish relations. We are aware of many prejudices and persecution and uh, a lot of evil that came out of the Christian church over the centuries. Uh, but on the other hand, history shows that there have always been people uh, in the Christian church not many, but there were always people who read their Bibles and who believed that uh, Israel is a nation that is loved by God. So there have always been people in the church who understood that God has never abandoned Jewish people, that he chose them and that he loves them. And even, in fact, the New Testament commands Christians to love the Jewish people and to respect them and to show them gratitude because uh, uh, the Bible says that Uh, we are debtors to the Jewish people because we got the word of God, the Bible, from them. Uh, maybe many people are not aware that the Tanakh is completely 100% part of the Christian Bible, which is then also uh, contains the New Testament. So we love the Tanakh, we read it, we pray it, and that is a very strong connection to the Jewish people. So it can be said that uh, whenever... Christians actually read their Bibles, they, it resulted in a very positive attitude towards the Jewish people. It can be traced to the beginning of Reformation, which is uh, known for making the Bible available to the general people. It was at that time when these positive attitudes uh, can be found. And of course, later it grew. And I have to say that After the Shoah and after the establishment of the state of Israel, there was a major rethinking of Christian theology. So our uh, organization is part of this great movement, and we simply believe that uh, to us as believers, this is a commandment. God wants us to esteem and love the Jewish people, and at the same time to show a matter of realism because uh, we understand that we have differences and we are not here to convince the other that we believe that we can still cooperate in many areas where we uh, have similar views or where we are one. For instance, fighting anti-Semitism and uh, working for justice in the world and uh, many other uh, moral questions. So there is a lot we can do together and uh, I'm very pleased to see that this is actually happening over the last decades. Well, the International Christian Embassy does an impressive yearly event, the Sukkot celebration, where thousands of Christians from all over the world travel to Jerusalem. Uh, how, is the, how is the experience? What happens during this trip? Well, thank you for mentioning this. And I would start by saying that uh, The fact that we organize the Christian celebration to, during the Feast of Tabernacles, during Sukkot, is an illustration of this turnaround in Christian theology and thinking, because the church historically has never celebrated Sukkot. The church has had its own version of Passover and Shavuot, but Sukkot was not known. Uh, I believe it is because this is a feast which for us points to the future. 
And your own prophet Zechariah says in chapter 14 that the day will come when the nations, the Goim, will go up to Jerusalem. And guess what? They will celebrate Sukkot. So this is the underlying reason why we have decided to start doing it, to practice, uh, to be ready for that great day. And in fact, this is a great celebration. Currently, okay. thousands of Christians are coming from more than uh, 70 nations, maybe 80 nations. We have had a hiatus of two years because of COVID, where nobody could come to Israel. We still held the celebration online, and we had thousands of participants even so. But this year, again, after these two years, we are expecting uh, several thousand people who are coming to Israel. And they come to show their attitude, to show their solidarity, to show their love to the Jewish people. And uh, I would say that the highlight is the annual March of Jerusalem. Uh, it uh, is organized uh, by the Jerusalem municipality, but the Christians are allowed to join. And it is a spectacular view of thousands of Christians representing their different nations, marching usually with the flag of their nation and simply declaring blessing and love onto the Jewish people. It's an unforgettable experience. And I would venture to say for both sides, for those who are marching and for those who are watching. Wow, it's amazing. Now, uh, your organization is present in 95 countries and has been recognized by Israeli prime ministers. What are, um, what are the activities that you carry on that connect Christians with Israel? Well, uh, the Christian embassy was uh, started uh, on the verse from the prophet Isaiah, which says in chapter 40, Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami, comfort ye my people, says your God. And we take it as a commandment to us. God is speaking to someone who wants to hear him. And he is telling us to tell the Jewish people that the time of your suffering is over. And so this is the guiding principle of all we do. And how do we do it in a practical way? Uh, we show love and support wherever needed. Let me just mention a few examples. Uh, in Haifa, uh, we run a major institution, a home for Holocaust survivors with 24-7 uh, uh, services to these elderly people. More than 70 of them are living there. And it has been a unique institution all over Israel. Uh, we help Israel uh, in crisis. We have delivered uh, dozens, I think more than 150 bomb shelters to the south of Israel and other places where they are vulnerable. Uh, we are helping also in Aliyah, those Jews who decide to, to go back to their ancient homeland. We are financially and physically helping them uh, come home. Uh, over the 40 years, more than 40 years of our existence, we have more than 160,000 New Olim reach Israel. So these are some of those projects. There are many more of them. And uh, on the other hand, we also stand with Israel wherever she is attacked, in the media, in international institutions. Uh, we are joining the fight against anti-Semitism, against bias, against the blood libels and apartheid libels and all that. And in this, uh, we cooperate with many Jewish organizations around the world. And when you mention these 95 branches or offices, this is our, uh, these are our foot soldiers, so to speak, in the different countries. Uh, depending on the situation, they are doing what they can to stand by Israel and also to stand by the local Jewish community. And I would say uh, there are many uh, such uh, groups uh, all over the Spanish speaking world, all over Latin America. And uh, they are really doing some great work. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for all these activities. Uh, finally, Mohmir, is there a message you would like to give the Jewish communities that are listening to us from different countries in the world? Yes, well, I would tell them you are not alone. We stand by your side. And I would also like to say that we as a Christian community, we have changed. We have changed in your attitude. And you, you don't have to believe me, but uh, I encourage you to check it out, to see what we do, and uh, maybe to be in touch with our representations in the different countries. 
Of course, we believe you. Of course. Thank you very much and uh, good luck with everything. Goodbye, Mohamed. Thank you very much for the invitation. All the best. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.